How to build Excel macros with ChatGBT. Hi, my name is Janus Miari and welcome to this channel. Welcome to Mastering Consulting. On this channel, I want to help you to learn the necessary skills that you need for your first years in consulting. If you're new to this channel, then please subscribe to it and leave a thumb up. This will help you that you don't miss any new video that will help you to accelerate your career in consulting. And this week, we talk a lot about ChatGPT, a new AI bot that helps you to solve so many business problems as a management consultant. And today I want to talk about how you can build Excel macros with ChatGPT. Well, you know that in Excel, you have a lot of functions. So there are different formulas, different functions that you can use in order to prepare data, analyze data and visualize data. But these functions still are limited. So in many cases, you want to have some additional formulas, some additional functionalities that are not in the preset of Excel. And what you then have to do is that you program a macro based on VBA, Visual Basics application. That's the programming language behind Excel. And this macro helps you to solve a certain pro uh, problem. So basically a macro is a small program that you can write in Excel in order to build a customized function or functionality. The thing is that you know, building macros is very complicated because the syntax is kind of complicated. It's not very intuitive. It takes some time until you uh, realize how to write them. And you know, back in the days, <laughs> a couple of years ago, when I started in consulting, you know, for me, macros was this kind of huge, you know, mystery where I said, okay, it's so difficult and I really had to learn how to do the syntax. And it was really a pain because, you know, it was kind of very counterintuitive. Fortunately, with ChatGPT, it becomes much, much, much easier to work with macros. You don't have to learn the syntax anymore. You don't have to learn all the details, how you create macros. It has become very, very simple to work with macros in Excel. And today, I want to show you how to do that, how to work with macros in Excel using ChatGPT. And for that, I have two use cases that I brought with you. In the first one, we want to try uh, to remove some empty rows. And on the other one, we want to build a macro to format the cells. Before we start and taking a look at the example, and just some basic rules. So the cool thing about ChatGPT is that it helps you to generate the code that you need for this macro. So the only thing that you need to know is how to set up a macro in Excel. Then you go to ChatGPT, ask the program to write the code for you. And then you simply copy paste the code from ChatGPT to Excel and then you run the macro and then it works. It's really, really simple. And we will just explore how to do that in two examples. So for the examples, I have prepared some data. In the first case, you see we have some data here and we also have some um, empty rows. And this is very often, you know, that you receive large amount of data from the client where you say, okay, there may be some bugs in it. There are empty rows. The data is not complete and you want to remove those empty rows. And, you know, in this example, it's very, it's only a short amount of data and a short uh, um, uh, or very little data rows. But in real life, typically you would have hundreds and hundreds of different rows. And then you don't want to go through it manually and really remove every sing uh, single cell uh, or row or empty row. You just want to have a program that does that for you. And what I did was I asked uh, ChatGPT that ChatGPT should program a macro um, that helps me to remove uh, empty rows. So I simply wrote, write a macro to remove empty rows. Uh, I didn't even have to write in Excel because uh, uh, ChatGPT directly understood uh, that I meant X, uh, Chat G, um, Excel and it programmed a VBA Visual Basic Application Code. The only thing I have to do now is to set up a macro and to paste in the code that I copy here. So the first thing that I do is that I copy the code then I go back to my Excel. Then I have to set up the macro. This is very e easy. You go to developer. So you press Alt L and then PM here. You go up there to macros. Then you need a macro name. Uh, we have to use the same name as we have here in the sub row. So remove empty rows. So I call it remove 
empty empty rows then we have to create it and then it opens this field here i just paste in the code then i close it again and now i can simply run the code by going to macros then it's here and then i say run and then it removes all the empty rows this is how simple it really really is to use macros and to program mac macros so as you saw the only thing that you have to do is to go to ChatGPT, ask the program to write a macro for you the only thing you really need to know is how to set up a macro in excel but you simply go to developer macro then you create a macro then you close the window and then you run it, run it. so it's very very simple so to have a second example, um, let's go um, to the second sheet that I prepared. And in this case, I want to format, um, sorry, I want to format the um, cells. So I go to macro two, to the second sheet, and I have here a very, very simplified DCF calculation, uh, where we have the calculation here um, below, and we have some input sheet, uh, input cells here and what you typically do in consulting that you have marked this or that you format this in, uh, these input shell, uh, cells in a certain way in most cases you have a light yellow background then you have a blue font and a light gray border well i don't want to format all of these cells you know because it's some manual work but i rather want to have a macro for that so i asked um chat GPT to write a macro that formats the cells in light yellow fill color, gray borders, and blue font color. And then it wrote me a macro, as you can see here, that does exactly that. So I copy the code, again go to Excel, then I go to Alt, that takes some time, Alt L, then PM for macros, then I, um, oops, create a new one. I call it format cells, format cells, then I create it. Then you see I just copy again or paste again the text set format cells, then I can close it. And then if I mark these cells, go to LPM, then it's here, then I run it. And as you see, it automatically formatted these cells. And as you see, this makes using macros so, so simple. And you know, it's for me, it's a real game changer because really working with macros has been such a huge topic. Everyone was afraid about how to use macros, uh, about how to learn it. You know, people invested so much money in, you know, uh, buying courses that showed how to use VBA to program macros. And this is all, you know, not necessary anymore. So this is really a game changer. And I hope this video showed you how easy it really is to work with macros. So if you want to learn all the necessary consulting skills that you need for your first years, like working with PowerPoint, all the basic Excel formulas, um, all the communication, all the organization skills, then please check out the link below. There you get access to my consulting preparation course. And if you liked the video, then please leave a thumb up and also subscribe to this channel. This would really help and support in what we are doing here. And it would help to get the message out there. It would help to uh, learn necessary consulting skills that you need for your first years. So that being said, I hope this brought value to you. But that being said, hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye, Johannes.